five, four, three, two, one. This is the duck there bringing you Group D of the 2001 Junior OSL Day 3 game between Jadong and Hyuk on the map Mancha. This should be exciting. Jadong is the yellow Zerg at the 5 o'clock position, and Hyuk is the red Zerg there at the 1 o'clock position. Jadong blinking his eyes uh, intensely there. I have to say, everything Jadong does is intense. Whereas, look at Hyuk here, I'm sorry. I mean, Hyuk almost looks a little confused against the great Jadong. That is the contrast here. One is, uh, you know, a ruthless killer almost. Oh, okay, that makes Jadong sounds like. Some kind of some sort of psychotic. No, that's not true. One is a disciplined, focused warrior, and the other one is overawed in the press seven seven seven. I guess that is a lucky number. Someone sharing something. Is that lucky in Korean too? That's kind of odd. Um, anyway, well, maybe it's not so odd. Regardless, that person uh, seven 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 something. Uh, Jadong, on the one hand, disciplined, focused warrior. On the other hand, Hyuk, easily confused, it seems. But Hyuk, maybe he's a drunken master in this game. You know, it doesn't appear like he knows what he's doing. But um, he is actually going to be like Jackie Chan in those movies. going to own everybody with some unorthodox fighting skills. Let's uh, see uh, how uh, Hyuk uh, decides to play this game here. Looks like Jadong has... Uh, gone for uh, Overlord here, and so has Hyuk. Both players not scouting the correct direction, by the way, with your initial Overlord. And it may appear that both player will go for a 12 uh, hatch, it looks like. Uh, no, Jadong might actually be going for 12 pool, and that person is predicting something, which unfortunately, again, I cannot read. Jadong has gone for the 12 pool, and Hyuk has gone for 12 hatch, so Hyuk will have an economic advantage in this game. Jadong putting down his extractor now. Uh, interesting maneuver by Hyuk here. Uh, so he is going to take early lead by blind luck, and there is a girl who looks uh, a bit shy there. And, and now Hyuk playing down his spawning pool. Hmm. But Jadong, when he is on top of his game, has the magical ability to destroy the seemingly... Uh, well, actually, 12 has first 12 pool isn't that overwhelming of a build order advantage, but it is significant for Hyuk. Uh, but Jadong at his prime can destroy build order advantages. Doesn't seem to matter what your opponent does, he will own you every time. Here's hoping that Jadong uh, found his own inner magic yet again. Uh, and uh, let's see what he can do. He's morphed a few Zerglings here to put on a bit of pressure uh, on Hyuk's front. But again, I don't think Hyuk is going to mind this. He's going to be able to get units out to defend in time. Let's see what Jadong does with his first 100 gas. Does he upgrade layer or does he upgrade Zergling speed? That will be a critical piece of information. If he goes for the layer, he wants to focus a bit more on air, of course. But if he goes for the Zergling speed first, he is setting himself up for a massive Zergling attack early on. Jadong content to put his Zerglings in a defensive position. He doesn't actually know what Hyuk has gone for. Uh, otherwise, maybe he would be willing to put on a bit more pressure. Uh, and now Jadong uh, still has not quite found Hyuk uh, yet, such is the... Uh, advantage of a large map for going something like a 12 hatch, uh, you have a uh, distance advantage here. Uh, if your opponent goes for a rush, you have a better chance of defending, and, uh, well, you know, that can work out well for an economic focus strategy. Now, Jadong knows where Hyuk is, and he is going to see these Zerglings at the front. Jadong still doesn't know what Hyuk went for, which is a critical piece of scouting information, but Jadong has managed to sneak a Zergling uh, to the natural. Again, that's not going to give him enough information. Uh, he doesn't know whether this is a 12 pool or 12 patch. Or maybe an overpulling the hatchery. He just doesn't know any of this just quite yet. And Jadon putting down a creep colony to defend. Uh, he seems a bit concerned about an attack at the front. He also put it. He also is putting his zerglings in a off-center position there, perhaps waiting for Hyuk to move out and then sneak the zerglings by. Hyuk has cleverly kept a few zerglings on the ramp there to prevent a scout into his base uh, by any sort of zerglings, which is nice. Both players putting down their spire now. Uh, so, again, if you just look at the food count here, Hyuk is ahead uh, by three, uh, which probably means he has uh, one or two more drones by the and a few more Zerglings. So that is critical advantage here for Hyuk early on. He's actually got himself Speedlings out, quite a few Speedlings, and he's going to spot Jadong's secondary force here. Uh, the force Jadong has, uh, Jadong actually is uh, quite low on Zerglings, but Hyuk has sent most of his army to chase those few Zerglings around instead of putting on some pressure at the front. So Hyuk 
just content to build up his forces for now. He knows he has the economic advantage. Uh, perhaps, I actually don't know whether he knows that, but he does only see a few Zerglings at the front. He might be a little suspicious that perhaps Jadon is setting up some sort of trap, showing weakness so Hyuk might overcommit to an attack. He is being quite cautious here, uh, which is probably a wise move at this point. When you don't have enough information, it's best to be cautious, but when you have enough information and you can make the decision, then you should not hesitate and go for a uh, bold maneuver. That's the difference here. It looks like Hyuk coming in for a massive attack, but Jadon has a lot of Zerglings and the Sunken Colony. I don't think this attack by Hyuk is going to work. Hyuk is forced to pull back here, uh, so unsuccessful attack by Hyuk. Jadon pushing his advantage here. Going to have a Zergling advantage at this point. Hyuk squandered most of his early Zergling forces. Yeah, unsuccessful attack. I don't know why. Um, now Chuck bringing out a few scourge. Chuck uh, doing his best to fight on this bridge here, which is going to give him uh, a few more kills. But Jadon bringing out additional reinforcements. Uh, try to press Chuck at his front. Chuck needs to get a few more units out to defend. He has Milas and uh, a few more Zerglings. So J uh, Jadon is going to be forced to turn back here. Uh, Hyuk bringing down some Scourge, uh, Jadon persisting with action at the front here, uh, some Scourge coming out by Jadon killing one Amelius, nice maneuver there by Jadon uh, with his Scourge, Hyuk with some Scourge near Jadon's base, I don't know whether it actually did any damage or not, uh, Hyuk is still uh, massively ahead in terms of food count, 24 to 17, such was his economic advantage it appears that he is able to uh, take uh, quite a few losses there and still come out ahead uh, in terms of forces. That's very impressive. Now, Hyuk has a nice little uh, air force there, whereas Jadong does not seem to have uh, too much else. He's got a single Mulus in his main. There are two Zerglings coming to harass his uh, working drones here. One drone might go down. That drone's surviving with three health. How, how does Jadon do stuff like that? Truly uh, mesmerizing to watch. It defies belief how he, uh, uh, well, you know, it might be luck, it might be skill. I think it's a combination of both. You know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Sometimes it's better to be good than lucky. But it's always better to be both lucky and good. Uh, and now, uh, Jadon has managed to build up his own air force. Uh, Hyuk is still uh, in the lead in terms of his... Uh, Mealus count, I believe. Uh, Jadon has a few more Scourge. But Hyuk, I don't think he's going to mind this uh, too much. Uh, Jadon has some more Scourge as long as he can uh, micro failing well, or better yet, hold out until he can build up some more Scourge of his own and then launch the attack. Then Hyuk will be in a great position to win this game. Jadon needs to micro like a fiend in the upcoming aerial engagement. Clone his Scourge uh, perfectly while dodging uh, Hyuk's Scourge. And why has my screen gone black? Uh, this is highly unusual. Is this just a bot? I believe this is just a bot here. And, uh, well, uh, let me pause the game for one second. It is just a game. Okay, now the screen is back here. Massive aerial engagement here. Impossible to tell who is coming out ahead exactly. And uh, it looks like Jadon has actually got Hyuk on the defensive here. He's chasing Hyuk down with Scourge, landing his Scourge. But at the same time, Jadon doesn't have the Mulus. Hyuk is going to take the battle. GG coming from Jadon. Hyuk wins the game, defeating the Tyrant. Oh, Jadon. So disappointing. Hyuk with the victory here. Well done, I would say. Bye, Hyuk. Going on to the next game. Oh, wait, no, this is the last game. Thank you for watching uh, day three of the OSL 24, I mean, Jin Air OSL 2001 round of 16.